The immortal pen of James Fenimore Cooper brings you thrilling tales of excitement. Blazing action on the early American frontier. Stirring adventures filled with the daring and courage of Hawkeye, first of the long rifles, and his blood brother, Chingachgook, last of the Mohicans. Ah, now look! Come on, Tom! Come on, Tom! Ah, come on, Tom! Come on, Lou! Come on! Come on, That's it! Hawkeye, Did you see that hand wrestle? Four of the best he's taken on. Frazzled them all. Well, why didn't you give him a go? Me and Chingachgook just dropped by to wrestle a mite of food, nothing else. It'd be a trifle of cheer for us. Well, I and Sal cook you up a saddle of venison. Besides, uh, it'd be a pleasure me to get back the flour on the loss to these strangers from the city. It'll be more pleasure to pocket another of your flourings. I don't mean to challenge you, mister, but looks like I'll have to clasp hands with you if I want my supper. I'll leave you enough strength to lift a fork. Come on, Come on, quick. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Into this now. That's it. Ah, uh, I may as well collect the twin to this now. Me have wampum. Say Hawkeye win. Uh, I appreciate you helping me work up an appetite, mister, but. I reckon I'll sit and relax now. A splendid feat of strength, monsieur. Permit me to introduce myself, Victor LaSalle. My direct ancestor was the explorer, Sieur de LaSalle. Oh, I've heard of him. He sailed the Father of Waters before you were born. Uh, but he had many Indians to guide him. That is true, mon ami. And now my partners and I wish to have a way shown us. Uh, what Victor means, Hawkeye, is that we want to get to some place in the Green Bay country. You've been recommended as the best scout hereabouts. You can name your own price. The Green Bay country? That's a long, hard trail. The looks of you three appears like you're more used to walking city streets. Well, we trek this far without mishap, except for the flooring you just cost me. Green Bay is land of Dakota Indian, sometimes not friendly. Maybe you lose more than flooring, lose scalp. Well, the map I possess shows we only go to the edge of Dakota land. Well, map? Sounds like you're interested in something more than just sightseeing. An inheritance. There isn't much out there in the way of an estate of value for a civilized man. You have perhaps heard of the treasure of La Salle? Legends have a way of coming to life every once in a while, especially the one about La Salle's treasure. We've seen the map, Tavish and me, and it looks good enough to us to put up the money to go after it. Better white man rest, go back. Find nothing in Green Bay country but many trees. Well, monsieur, it appears we must seek this trail ourselves. I regret you have refused us. They go in forest alone, make much trouble. Yeah. Ah, uh, wait up. Seeing as how you're so set on chasing your wild goose, maybe Chingachgook and me better go with you, just for the sake of interest. How soon can you be ready? My brother Hawkeye and me ready, but you not ready. Yeah, those clothes you're wearing would be in tatters before we even got to Green Bay country. Better go to the trading post and get outfitted up. Be prepared to head out first thing in the morning. Thank you. Tender feet in the woods. Guiding woods make much trouble. Must watch all the time. Yeah, guiding greenhorns turns out to be a chore. You gotta protect them from the forest, and sometimes protect the forest from them. Maybe now is time for eat. You, you've got to give us a chance to get a breath. Tavish is all in. Well, this looks like as good as any place to make camp. This 
beyond here is the beginning of Green Bay country. Why do we not push on? First, we got to figure out which one of these deer trails to follow. Give me the map. Well, that doesn't show the end of our trail. It leads to way station the old explorers used. When we get there, we can figure out the rest. Giving it to me piecemeal like this is liable to make me make the wrong turn. We might never find the place you're looking for. faster in forest. We better stick closer together. This is good hunting land. You never know but what a Dakota brave might pop out at you if you straggle. Me see one behind tree. He watch. We'll pay him no mind. Maybe he's just curious. Come on. We better get going if you want to get to that way station by dark. <laughs> with Chingachgook. I'll catch up with you. I want to take a look around. Why are you trailing us in war paint? Where did he come from? Did he see any others? No, I reckon he's just a one-man war party. Why you follow our trail? I think we better leave him alone. I want him to talk to his chief. I'm going to turn you loose. I want you to go back to your village. Tell your tribe we come in peace. We won't disturb anything in your land. Now get. Hold it, Murray. See? The map is correct. Now what are you going to say? That sounds way station. <laughs> ah, we're going to be rich, Murray. You and me. And me. Oh, of course, laddie. <laughs> It's just that I'm so accustomed to speaking to Murray that way that I didn't say us. Well, while we have yet life, monsieur, we should look at the map. So there will be no mistake as to where we are going. Now, it is here we are, and it is here we wish to go. Well, as far as we're concerned, this cabin's our last stop. 
but the treasure is not here. It is right smack dab in the middle of the Dakota burial ground. Well, it's taboo. It's Indian resting place for spirit. <laughs> not touch. Spirits never hurt nobody. For a white man to set foot on that ground is just plain suicide. Those Dakotas won't ask questions. They'll just go after your scalps. We've gone to great expense and terrible sore feet to get this far. No ghosts are going to spook me for my rightful share of the wealth. Besides, how do we know you're telling it square? What my brother see on map is death, not treasure. And how far would you say it was to this death, Hawkeye? It's past the big trees, about a half a day due north. But if you haven't got the stomach to guide us, we'll be heading that way ourselves. But, Monsieur Murray, we do not know the forest so well. Due north, he said. There's no need to trouble the great white scout and his Mohican brother anymore. Well, you're all grown men. After a night's rest, me and Chingachgook are heading back. If any of you want to join us, we'll be camped just outside. I do not like this. What would you like better? To share the treasure five ways instead of three? Right now, Hawkeye and that Mohican are guides. Let them see the gold and they'll want to be partners. You have a brain, monsieur. I would never have thought of that. Soon, white man's scalp hang from teepee pole of Dakota. Yeah, if we don't throw a real fright into him. When white man hunt gold, only death stop them. Then let's scare him. It shouldn't take us long to catch a rabbit and make an arrow. There. Now, all who come after will know I am walking in his footsteps. If I was superstitious, I'd say that was bad luck. Your great ancestor's footsteps sort of faded out before he got back for his treasure. <laughs> <laughs> Rabbit skin pierced with an arrow. Must be some kind of warning. It's a Dakota warning. It means get out or die. Uh, might have rabbit skin and arrows. Not gonna keep me from getting what I come for. Carly well, proves one thing. Them savages got their eyes on us. The Sieur de la Salle would not run because of such a warning. We waste time. Let us proceed at once. With heathen murderers lurking everywhere. You're our guides. You, you've got to protect us. You know my terms. I also know that if you leave us now, our blood is on your hands. I told that Dakota brave that we came in peace, and I'll not stand for any of you breaking my word. LaSalle, Hawkeye's right. We come for treasure, not trouble. We're all a mite on edge. Best thing we can do is rest up here overnight, and then we can figure out just what we're going to do in the morning. There's only one way to figure. If you want to save your lives, forget about the treasure. We have. Good day, gentlemen. Freeze, or I'll blast you wide open. If that treasure were guarded by the fire of Hades, I'd still go after it. We get chance we send you there. The only chance you and Hawkeye is gonna get is to dig up that treasure and help us carry it back. And just to make sure, we're gonna put a leash in our two guides. Tie them up. Get over there. I don't like the look of these poles, Murray. You heard what Hawkeye told us? Those are spirit poles. They protect the dead from ghosts, not flesh and blood. They also mean the ground up ahead is taboo. Then we'll not have any disturbing visitors while well, we're searching out the spot where the treasure lies. Much taboo. Now, get moving. We've been walking around in circles for a couple of hours. You reckon the great LaSalle didn't leave any treasure? It must be around here, the way the map shows. Maybe whoever made that map got here before you, about a hundred years before you. No. The Sieur de LaSalle never returned here a second time. Everybody knows he left the treasure back here. Maybe we missed the landmark. Ah, that's it, Tavish. In a hundred years, landmarks can change. Now, you keep guard. LaSalle and me will search around. Now, you go that way, and I'll go this way. We'll work towards each other in a circle. They not find treasure. 
But circle make much dizzy. Do you mind if we sit down? All right. Millions inside the cave. Get Tavish. We'll clean out this place and be on our way before morning. Did you ever see the likes of this? Riches. I give me thanks to Monsieur de Salle for gathering it for our sakes. La Salle probably never even saw those trinkets. Dakota, bring treasure. Make medicine. Leave to keep spirit of great chief happy. Taking them is signing your death warrants. I don't care whether this stuff belongs to dead chiefs or not. Gold is where you find it and belongs to whoever finds it. Dakota, death warning. You know, Indians, what are we going to do? One of two things. Hang on to those trinkets and lose your scalp, or save your hair and put that stuff back. I'll save my scalp with this. They have our way out blocked. We cannot fight so many. Hawkeye! There's Chief standing there. Come out, Hawkeye! Cut me loose, Murray. I might be able to get you out of this with a whole hide. Cutting you loose would only give me more trouble. I'll run things my way. Your only hope now, Marie, is to cut us loose and forget about the treasure. We might be able to talk to the chief. Cut your loose. I got enough to worry about without protecting my back. My brother Hawkeye kill you. He not shooting back. You will never leave Dakota lands with sacred treasure. We will wait many moons for you to come out. You hear what chief say? We all die. Hawkeye, if I release you, will you promise to help us out of here? Might as well. We're all paddling the same canoe now. But you've got to realize that all they're doing is trying to protect what's rightfully theirs. You fool. I'm not giving up my share of the treasure. You won't get far with it. All you should be interested in is getting yourself out of here. Maybe you leave treasure. Chief, let us go in peace. As long as I've got ball and powder left, I'm not giving up my share of anything. Then we all die. <laughs> It's mine, I tell you. 
Lasalle's treasure. It's all mine. I'm rich now. Rich. And like I said, I'll be. <laughs> I, I buy the castle now. The castle Dundee. Yes. I must go and buy the castle Dundee. Tavish, come back here. You will lose your gold. Tavish, come back, you fool. It's for the Laird of Dundee. <laughs> Tell him Jock Tavish has the riches, just like I said I'd have. Take a look, lads. I'm not lying. It's, it's pure gold. You, you'll not have my money. They'll attack again soon, and we haven't much of a chance. Maybe if I can lead them off in that direction, you and LaSalle can slip away in the other. White brother make good plan. But maybe Indian do better on trail alone. No, I can outrun them. If I can't, I, I just won't meet you on the trail. King, it's good. Come back. by his life. They go a fire. Come back. A little stone arrow robs me of wealth and life. Mohican say you tell white men not to come to burial ground. Yeah, their greed sort of plugged up their ears. Shine of too much gold makes some men blind. Then why you take taboo gold? They, they did not take it, Chief. Hawkeye, Chingachgook tried to stop us. We were too greedy. Forgive. Okay, Chingus Cook, not want break taboo. Go in peace. If you don't mind, Chief, we'd like to stay long enough to put him to rest. Join us again at this same time next week for another of James Fenimore Cooper's gripping tales of the early American frontier. Another exciting adventure of Hawkeye and his blood brother, Chingachgook, last of the Mohicans. <laughs> <laughs>